so I've done an unboxing of what I got into the mail and my dog wants to eat at it. Got this a really good deal on eBay actually. It was like 15 bucks. And I got this instantly when I saw it. It's a little baggy here, you can tell what it is. Alright, and here's what it looks like with the jacket on. Really awesome figure. So, I'll see you guys in the next unboxing video. Hey guys, I'm here at Nintendo here back with another unboxing guys and today I have another package today in the mail. This is from Jay's Figs uh, on Instagram. This is like my third or fourth package from him. He's a really good seller. He ships out stuff really quickly and uh, yeah. Um, I also have another package coming from him soon because I bought something off of him today. But um, this actually, this item here is actually delayed. This was supposed to come five days ago but it wasn't his fault. It was just a USPS and it really slow. Which awesome. He wrapped it up nicely. Uh, this is the Elite 26 Jack Swagger flag. He put some cardboard around it to protect it. He forgot to include this when I got my Jack Swagger. Uh, the last thing I got from him, I would take the tape off, but I don't have my knife with me right now. So, plus you guys already know what it looks like. And here's the figure. It is uh, not an Elite figure. It's actually the Amazon exclusive Mankind figure. This was, uh, I don't know when this came out exactly, but I know this figure is quite rare. He gave it to me really for a really good deal. Now, I'm not sure the mask can come off. Actually, it doesn't look like it can. But um, this is a really nice... I mean, technically, it is a basic figure, but it does have elite articulation in the legs. So I'm not necessarily sure what to consider this figure. I don't have the knife with me to this. I'll just hold my hand. Oh, very good packaging. I mean, not only does he use a plastic bag, he actually puts it in the box, too. This is definitely going to be getting positive feedback. But it is uh, the Legends Dusty. This is a really nice figure. Really happy to finally have this in my hands. I think this is the only Dusty Rose Elite they have made. But let's hope that we get like a Defining Moments or a um, some other Elite of Dusty Rhodes uh, because of his passing. But let me go and put his headband on. I'll show you guys what he looks like in a second. I hope I have it on the right side. But that's it right there. So yeah, really, this is a really awesome figure. I think it has like his birthmark. Yeah, right there too. That's really awesome. So I remember when I first saw this, I was like, why is that there? But uh, then I realized that um, he actually has that on his stomach in real life. But yeah, really nice attire. Nice figure. I believe this is a Legends figure. So yeah, I got it for a pretty good price and happy I found it cheaper. So anyway, guys, uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, um, got a package. I also got a box. The box is too big to fit in this ring. It's not that big, but it's just not really big enough to put in the ring. So this is a leap, another leap that I won for a long time, but... Once again, I really found, found, never really found this at any price, and also just never really found it online because it's kind of a hard figure to find. You guys can probably tell who it is. The best gold dust out of the three gold dust they've released. It is Elite Six Gold Dust. This is an amazing figure. Let me go ahead and show you guys the figure. It looks really nice. Really nice figure. Really do like this one a lot more than the other. All right, guys. So let's see what's inside the box. It is a box figure. Good. John Cena. Hey guys, we're here today. We're doing another unboxing video today, guys. I have another package in the mail. This is actually a trade. I'm already kind of opened it. I'm doing this with one hand, so I'm gonna have to kind of dump out everything. In this package, I got three World Heavyweight Championship belts. If you're wondering why, because I need a few of them. I think I probably still need a couple more. Um, I got one for my Booker T, the King Booker. Um, I'm not really sure where I got this one for. All my really Booker T who I got the belt for, but I got these for a pretty good deal since I was buying three of them. And up next is a trade, which I really did not think the guy would actually send. But, um, this is for my loose Kevin Nash figure. I got the in-box ringside exclusive Edge figure, which this is awesome. I used to have this figure too, but I don't sell this, I had to sell it. Yeah, this is a nice figure. Really happy to finally get this guy back again. And since I have two Kevin Nashes, I have a sealed one and I have an open one. Um, I'm gonna not, not really going to be taking a loss with that. But yeah, just really happy I got uh, Ringside Edge again. And this actually came all the way from some Arabic country. I think it starts with a Q. It's like Q-A-T-A-R. I don't want to say it because I don't want to like botch it or anything like that. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, up me, Harry Nintendo here, and I got a package today from Ringside Collectibles. This is a small box. Um, ordered a couple things in here along with a prize figure. 
you follow my Instagram page, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not, make sure you follow it's Hardy Nintendo, just my YouTube channel name. And uh, I actually did a giveaway when I reached 300 followers, and I think now I have just surpassed 800, so I'll probably be doing a giveaway when I hit 1,000. I'll be doing a YouTube giveaway as well, but um, I don't know, I'll probably kind of figuring out right now how many subscribers I want before I do that. Maybe uh, 3,000, maybe 5,000. But um, anyway, so let's get to opening this thing. There's only a couple things in here, like I said. So first thing that's in here is this is actually going to go to Wad Figs because he won this in a contest. So this is Rick Rude that he won. And uh, I already have this figure. But yeah, that's his price. If you guys didn't know the other winner, the other winner, his name was East Coast Figs. He won uh, Elite 39 Dolph Ziggler, which I actually just shipped out. Up next is basic page. Really happy to finally get this figure. This is a really nice figure. Uh, or excuse me, basics in the set. I think this is actually a really good basic set in my opinion. One of the better ones. I just feel like this just new packaging artwork, man, just just makes these figures look so much cooler in my opinion. I just I really do like this new style. I think this is probably one of my favorite styles of packaging they've done. I personally thought like the blue and uh, white elite boxes and stuff like that, like that design. I just I hated it. I didn't like it at all. Here is Battle Pack, Adam Rose and the Bunny. People are asking me, oh, I thought you said you're not buying basics. Only basics I'm buying are like managers, um, suits, or kind of sidekicks. And like the bunny's like a sidekick, so that's why I got it. Because we're not really gonna get like we're not gonna get this guy's an elite. And this figure looks absolutely nothing like the actual bunny. But um yeah, just pick that up. And last but not least, another battle pack, you probably can guess who it is because it's probably like the only battle pack that's honestly really worth getting. Uh, Bella Twins. Finally got a Bella Twins bottle pack. And uh, yeah. Here, I'm going to do a quick little one hand unboxing real fast. It's actually Christmas Eve today. So I uh, got a couple of belts in the mail. I'm going to jump out for you guys. Um, I got two winged eagle belts. And I got these because I'm going to put one with my Elite Psycho Sid and the other one with my WrestleMania. 30 Shawn Michaels figure. So yeah guys, um, I'll see you guys in the next unboxing video. This is just a quick little clip. Alright guys, Mary Nintendo here back with another unboxing for the Unbox Travaganza. Now if you hear sound in the background, I apologize. It's the um someone next door is getting their lawn done and their weed whackers are really loud. So if you hear any sounds or whatever, it's because of that. Anyway, um I got two packages today in the mail. I got a bubble mailer and a box. So you guys know I'm on the quest to complete Elite 20 through 25 right now i just completed 26 and 27 and 29 and my last figure from 27 and my last figure from 29 are in here and the ones in the box and ones in the bubble mailer now can you guys guess who the last one i needed a 27 is if you watch unboxing shot again so you should know it is apparently this person decided not including packaging was not necessary the 27 kofi kingston so i'm really happy to finally get this figure i've had it before but um yeah, I'm really happy to get it again. Box, and as I've said before, when I get figures in the box, actually before I say that, this is Elite 29, if you guys can guess which from uh, 29 I got in here. That's to tell you guys, when I get figures in a box, um, if I choose to open them, it is up to my discretion, and I'm choosing to open this figure as I want it loose rather than the box. In my opinion, it's really not that valuable to keep in the box. Um, that is Elite 29 Andre the Giant. This figure is worth like around 35 bucks in the box. Like I've been seeing it for selling for that much. And um, I figured, you know, $35. I mean, it sells for about 30 loose, so I'm only not really degrading the value by very much. The box is in very good condition, however. But uh, yeah, Elite 29, now I have it complete. I have everyone from a set except for Andre the Giant, which I have now. So I'm going to actually open this one up for you guys. All right, so first off, we have his hair piece, which is actually just like really thick plastic. I thought it was like rubber. And right here we have Andre the Giant, like 29. And I'm actually really excited for this figure because I've never had an Andre the Giant figure before. This ciglet's actually cloth. I believe you actually take it off. I'm not very uh, savvy when it comes to wrestling history, but I believe um, with this blue attire and this wig is like a completely, I won't say a different person, but kind of uh, two, I think it comes with like two different attires. So you, you have the hair piece, and I think if you take off the singlet. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's Elite 29 Giant and uh, Elite 27 Kofi Kingston. And I'll see you guys in the next unboxing. Stay tuned for that. 
Hey guys, Mary Newton here back with another video today. Got another package today in the mail. This is a figure that I've been wanting to, uh, for a while, but um, I just never found it for the right price. I found it on eBay a couple nights ago and it finally came here. It's, it's actually really fast shipping, but uh, let's check it out. It is uh, Defying Moments Ultimate Warrior, and this is a really awesome looking figure because the uh, designs on his knee pads. His face has Macho Man's face right here. Some of his trunks. This is a really detailed figure. Probably the best Ultimate Warrior figure in my opinion. But uh, let me go ahead and take off the jacket and show you guys. All right, now I have the jacket out. Let me go ahead and show it to you guys. This Ultimate Warrior, both sides, has his logo right here in the middle. And once again, it has Macho Man and Ultimate Warrior right there on the side. Or excuse me, on the back. The cloth, or well, for some reason, there's 116 written in here but it's actually made of cloth which is really awesome i thought this was gonna be a rubber jacket but um you know most defining moments figures or most defining moments accessories are cloth so here's the figure from the back right here it says means much more than this it's a picture of a title in the back let's see what title it is looks like the world ch uh, weight championship correct me if i'm wrong but yeah really happy to finally get this figure uh, there's a little spot on his foot, but I was aware of that. But uh, yeah, guys, so I'll see you guys in the next unboxing. All right, guys, so it's me, Hard Nintendo here with another video. And today I got four packages in the mail. I think this is like the most I've had in a while in terms of uh, stuff coming in at the same time. Um, so I think two packages are belts and two are figures. So let's go ahead and open up. I think this is a figure. So let's open up and see what it is. And it is, ooh, it's the last one I need from Elite 30. It is Elite 30 Ryback. And I really like how the seller used so much packaging to protect this figure. Yeah, Elite 30 Ryback, I got this for like $15. I wanted to get it too with the second shirt. So a lot of people didn't have it with both shirts. But uh, yeah, got it from uh, some guy I really don't like. His name is Impulse WC on eBay. Uh, he just never really packs up the figures correctly. I've received many figures from him, but a lot of them come damaged, and I'll have to return them. And, uh, yeah, so this one right here says Ryback rules. Nice. So, uh, yeah, we three Ryback. So now I have all the Rybacks. Next, these are definitely belts, so let's open it. Break into this by hand. There's so much tape on the outer edges. Hold on. There we go. Make a little decision. See, this is wrapped up nicely. This is how you package up items. I think Impulse WC needs to take uh, notes. But uh, looks to be a couple belts in here. This seller actually sold these two belts. He's really friendly. I think his name... Uh, I forgot his name. I'm not even sure. But I, I know a lot of the sellers on eBay like that. And kind of talk to them. They kind of give me deals. Because, you know, I buy a lot multiple stuff from them. It's like that all the time. And leave great feedback for them. Well, I used to. But, um... Anyway, here's the Intercontinental Championship belt. This is going to go for my, um, you guys remember last on Bakker Shopping Dance, I got that uh, Best Pay Per View Big Show from WrestleMania, so I'm going to give him this Intercontinental belt. And the US belt is going to go for another figure, which I'm not sure it might be in here. So I don't know, I'm going to keep this a secret, unless it's in here. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to open up another figure. Wait, actually, oh, these are both figures, I believe. So. Looks like, uh, cause I ordered two more belts. I ordered two uh, Winged Eagle belts. So it looks like these two packages are actually figures. Oh, and look, this is where the United States Championship belt's gonna go with. It is Elite 20 Santino Morella. This is a nice figure. I've had this figure before, but uh, yeah, really happy to finally get it back. And that's gonna have the United States Championship probably wrapped around its waist, but uh, it's gonna look like that for now. And that's my at least another figure. What is it? It is. I don't even know who it is. Oh, okay. It is a figure that has taken me a long time to finally get. It's not complete, but I'm going to be buying it piece by piece. You guys can probably tell who it is. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys or not, but uh, I'm actually trying to go for a complete set from Elites 20 through 29. And I think probably one of the harder figures. For me to get was Elite 29 sand down with all the accessories just because it comes with so many small accessories. Not many people really have them. And sorry for hearing like the creaking upstairs. 
let me try to pop that off. There you go. But um, I think for this in a briefcase, I paid like 20 bucks for. But uh, eventually, I'm going to get the blue one, and I'm going to get another tall ladder to kind of go with it and make the figure complete. But for now, he's just going to have the brown briefcase. Because not many people on eBay really have this figure. So, yeah, let me put the briefcase in his hand. Yeah, that's Damien Sandow, the guy who should have been world champion but got buried the crap out of by Cena. What the people call this a chocolate briefcase. I don't know. I, I, remember, I still remember watching that Raw. I think it was like in October, too, when he lost to John Cena. I thought it was really disappointing. I mean, at least give the guy a world champion, you know. I don't know. kind of felt bad for him after that Raw, but yeah, guys, that's what I got for today. Yeah. And I will show you guys what I get tomorrow because I actually have some more packages coming in. So I'll see you guys then. Hey, guys, what's up? Me, Hard Nintendo here, and I'm back with another unboxing. This is a figure... I've been wanting for a while. I just have not got the chance to get it, and I haven't really seen it for a good price. But I saw it for a really good price the other day. I think it was like 15 bucks. So went ahead and bought it. All right, guys. So I got the bow uh unraveled, and we're gonna see who it is. If you guys still can't guess who it is, it is Elite Nine Miz, and this is a nice figure. This figure I've been wanting for a really long time, but uh, couldn't uh, argue with 15 dollars for this figure. It comes with the United States Championship belt. It isn't shiny because this is one of the first uh, elite United States Championship belts. And uh, yeah, so I'm really excited for this figure. So my dog's trying to sniff the belt because my dog actually ate up my uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt. He kind of ate the strap part. So some of the uh, holes are kind of broken on the belt. But yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next.